and now Dango has run his mouth. He said he only won a tag team competition. Oh, that's right. He basically got oh, bullied into this Bravo, match. Oh, Dango what you're looking at here is the real ODB of TNA. And the Dirty D, well, he has something he's got to say. Man, do I hate pro wrestling. Short and sweet and to the point. His opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. It was at Hard to Kill in January that Josh Alexander dispatched Hammerstone in a thrilling match at the Palms in Las Vegas tomorrow night, live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. It's Alexander versus Hammerstone 2. And he has an opportunity to build some much needed, much important momentum heading into that match here with a win over Dirty Dangle. And like I was saying before Josh Alexander came out here, he basically bullied Dirty Dangle into this matchup. Dangle was looking oh, for on. opponents for himself and Oleg Prudius, specifically people with less than a year experience. They're trying to, you know, bring up the next level of sure, local competitors sure. here. And Josh Alexander just insisted upon this matchup. Yeah. Alexander said, if you need an opponent, face me next week. Santino Morella made it official. Now Dirty Dango tied up here with the two-time TNA World Champion, the longest reigning TNA World Champion of all time, who just took out Simon Gotch at no surrender. Before that, the aforementioned Hammerstone and Hard to Kill, and also Will Ospreay back in January. I mean, there's no doubting the acumen inside the squared circle of Josh Alexander, but look at this Dirty Dango. I mean, the man says he hates pro wrestling. I was just about to say. That's right. Alpha you push Bravo. him into a corner. Yeah. Alpha Bravo saying Dango uh, can go, and it's hard to argue that the way that Dango's competing right now. And uh, listen, Dango has made his money in multiple businesses, and this is a point in his career where maybe he's actually motivated because he's stepping in there with TNA's world beater. Well, look, I mean, he is a superstar. I mean, this is a guy who knows what it's like to travel the world as a star in pro wrestling all over. He doesn't need this. But if, yeah, you push him into a corner, he will shove back. Oh, well, also, Dango realizes there's something to gain. Yeah, sweet, sweet victory. Over the walking Whoa. weapon of all things. Man, imagine slowing down the momentum of one of the most decorated athletes in TNA history. Alexander trying to grab a hold of Dango there, was thinking about a German suplex. Oh, rams that shoulder right into the midsection. Beautiful Northern Lights suplex. Kick out by Dango. Now, I have to bring it up tomorrow night. We're heading to Windsor, Ontario, Canada, St. Clair College. That is the site of one of the greatest heartbreaks in the career of Josh Alexander, the place where he had to relinquish the TNA World Championship due to a torn triceps. Haunting memories in that building for sure for Josh Alexander. Hopefully can make a better one tomorrow night at Sacrifice in a rematch with Hammerstone. Uh oh, face oh. first into the canvas. Now thinking about the oh, ankle no. lock. Go for the ankle lock here. Dang it, what's he gonna do? He's crawling, he's reaching for that rope and gets there. Dango in trouble. Josh Alexander is rolling. This match continues picture in picture. Early advantage in this matchup has gone to the walking weapon. After an early uh, onset from Dango, proven he, he could go there, grapple for grapple, move for move for a minute there. But the walking weapon has taken control. And while the Mahler, Oleg, Prudius, and Alpha Bravo on the outside keeping an eye on Dirty Dango, and Dango appears to be directing traffic here, and Alexander trying to keep an eye on both Bravo and Prudius. Yeah, Alexander's gonna have to keep his head on a swivel here. Oh, now Dango trying to surprise Alexander. 
Oh. And Alexander able to thwart that effort there by Dango. Huge hip toss by Josh Alexander there. And once again now, once again, going to the ankle. Tomorrow night, Sacrifice will be live in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And don't forget this Saturday, March 9th, DNA Wrestling presents Impact on the campus of St. Clair College. You can get your tickets now via TNAWrestling.com. And if you can't be there in person, tune in on TNA Plus. Head to TNAWrestling.com. Plans start at as low as $9.99 a month. You haven't seen anything until you've seen everything. Oh. Dango looking for that cross arm breaker, of course we know. Oh, oh, able to pull back on the arm. It was the left triceps That's that right. was torn in 2023. Alexander gets his foot on the bottom rope. Look at that. I don't want to insinuate anything, but the minute Ooh. Dango had that locked in, did you see how quickly Josh Alexander desperately got to that rope? Oh, and Alexander wise to protect it. From what we understand, has made a full recovery, but you know what it's like to sustain an injury. You're just never quite the same. I know you tore your pec once upon a time. Absolutely. It still hasn't gotten repaired. I deal with that every single day of my life. It, it, it's something a little bit a part of you always leaves. But it's the toughest of the tough who come back from that Alexander proving that time and time again. But Dango more than willing to try and take advantage. And the word try, I think, is apropos here because I, I don't know if I've seen Dirty Dango try this hard in a match in his entire time here it's in TNA. It's a little uncomfortable to watch. It's, it's but I kind of love it. It's, it's not uncomfortable for me because part of me is encouraged to see how damn good Dirty Dango is, which you and I have known. That's true. For close to a decade at this point. But... This is something that he's unlocking in an opportune moment. The main event of impact Ooh. against the standard of TNA. He's being very methodical here. Dead focus on that left arm, the injured left triceps of Josh Ooh. Alexander. Of course, we know the walking weapon is not one to back down from a fight here, going toe to toe, blow for blow. Josh Alexander and Dirty Dango going at it in the main event here on impact. And we are back here on TNA Impact. This is Josh Alexander one-on-one -on -one with Dirty Dango. Ooh. Oh, going for the ankle lock here, Josh Alexander. Looking for the submission. He's got a great counter into that ankle lock again, oh. but Dango able to remove the walking weapon from the ring. Oh, shoulder right into the midsection, sent through the ropes. Alpha Bravo trying to grab a hold of Alexander while the official was dealing with Tango, and then Tango blasting Alexander. And it was just enough of an opening there for Dango to take advantage. And, and listen, Alexander is grabbing at his left knee. Dango was going after the previously surgically repaired left triceps earlier on. Hey, but if this is a new target for Dango, you know he'll take it. Uh, we've talked about it in 24 hours it's sacrifice live in oh. Windsor, Ontario. Oh! It's going to be Alexander versus Hammerstone 2. Alexander can ill afford an injury one day before that match. Oh! oh. Nasty dragon ah. screw right out here on the floor. Dango rolls back inside to reset the 10 count. That banged up knee of Josh Alexander just taking even more punishment. Here we go oh. again! Oh. Down of four here from the official. You and I talked about it earlier on. I have never seen Dango this motivated. And think about the opportunity. He's in the main event against a two-time TNA world champion. Imagine what this can do for Dango. Oh, yeah, oh. and he is taking the champion the former champion to his limits here. This is a nasty side, a Dirty Dango. And it begs the question, how is Alexander gonna deal with Hammerstone tomorrow night at Sacrifice? Josh Alexander was fortunate to go into hard to kill, close to 100%, no one's ever truly 100% uh, uh, yeah. in this business, but still. He went in fresh, to your point, but here he can be walking into that huge matchup on one good leg if Dirty Dango has his way here. Hammerstone, one of the more decorated champions over the last five years in professional wrestling. He certainly tested Alexander at hard to kill. 
Very curious to see how this match goes tomorrow night live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders at Sacrifice. We gotta get there first. We gotta get through with this oh. matchup here. And Alexander, that thought's gotta be rattling around in his head. Especially as someone who's been through multiple injuries before. Up on the shoulders, Dango able to slide down the back, grabbing all oh, that injured left leg. Dango is laser focused. And now, oh, no, 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 control! No, no, no. Smashing the left knee into the steel post. The barrage continues here from Dango. Oh! Dango rolls underneath the bottom rope. That resets the 10 count. Yeah, I look at the way Alexander's just wincing in pain. Feel oh! Ooh, and yanked Dango into the steel post. Great instincts there from the walking weapon. Oleg Prudius checking on Dirty Dango. Oh, look at the way Josh Alexander is, is almost hobbling out here. Oh, he is. Can barely, can barely put weight on that one leg. And have to try to find some space, get some feeling back in there. Considering how strong, powerful, and athletic Hammerstone oh. is, this is a bullseye before sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, and Alexander trying to blow past Dirty Dango to gain some momentum, just couldn't do it. And if you are Hammerstone, to your point, you are watching this matchup right now. You've got your eyes locked on TNA Impact doing every bit of scouting that you can ahead of sacrifice. Oh. I'll boot right to the face. Alexander trying to push through the pain. Off the top rope and a big drop kick. And that was critical for Josh Alexander. That's a big opening. But how much did that take out of the walking weapon? Dirty Dango has certainly had help from Alpha Bravo and Oleg Prudius throughout this matchup, but has fought well for the bulk of it. Certainly challenged Josh Alexander and created this injury to the left knee. Alexander, though, continuing to fight. Oh, the block there by Alexander. Oh, big forearm shiver. Has that discus forearm there now, looking for that C4 spike. Oh! Dango takes out the left knee. Yeah. Up onto the shoulders, Alexander. Oh. Rolling senton. Fighting through the pain. Alexander continuing to climb oh. here. Dropping the right knee across the neck, the back of the head of Dango isn't enough, and a kick out by Dirty Dango. Take another look at this. Alexander fighting through the pain, able to hit this rolling senton and follow up with this knee to Dango, but not enough to end the matchup. Well, now Alexander thinking about German suplexes. Dirty Dango felt it coming. Oh, and deposits Alexander amongst the turnbuckles. Now fighting the back, and look at this! Oh, and a leg drop by Dango! And now he's not done yet. Falcon Arrow! That's gotta be, is that it? Is that enough? Alexander able to kick out. I, I have to say, this is the best performance I've seen from Dirty Dango in his time here in TNA Wrestling. He is cooking on all cylinders. Giving Alexander everything he can handle. Was thinking about going for down and dirty. That top rope leg drop. Alexander rolled away. That's right, walking. Oh. Weapon started coming. And now, looking to lock in this string of German suplexes. Another German with a bridge. Oh, but wait a minute. The injury to the knee. He couldn't maintain the bridge. That's so key. The core shrink, but of course, everything radiating through the knee, through the thigh. All of that affecting Josh Alexander still deep into this matchup. Now it's Alexander 
trying to muscle his way to the top turnbuckle. Oh, continues to go to the high red district and Tango there to meet him. He's taking big risks every time. Because at the end of it all, he's got to come down eventually. Think about big risk, big reward. Understands that he's injured, trying to put away Tango by any means necessary so he can get to sacrifice and face Hammerstone. Oh, oh. And there goes Dango wiping out Bravo. Alexander just hoisting Dango over his head to the outside. And a wait. What is the walking weapon doing? Josh Alexander off the top of the post, wiping out Prudius, Bravo, and Tango. The walking weapon, look at this, becoming the flying weapon to take out the competition. And now tosses Tango back inside the ring. Oh, and there's Proteus. Proteus grabbing a hold of Alexander. The official was checking on Tango with the DDT out of the corner. Alexander's down. And now is it time? Is it time to get down and dirty? Whoa! Oh, wait a minute, he missed. Alexander turned away. Ankle lock. Beautiful counter there for the walking weapon. Locked in. Great body the leg. Tango taps to Alexander. Here's your winner, the walking weapon, Josh. Dirty Tango pulling out the damnedest performance of his career here in TNA with the walking weapon heads into sacrifice with a big win. Tomorrow night, live in Windsor, Ontario, Canada on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for Ultimate Insiders is Sacrifice.